in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen let's all rise and begin the service by singing come let us use the grace divine and all with one accord on uh, page number 427 in the hymnal book page number 427 in the hymnal book Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love Thee and worthily magnify Thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dearly beloved, the Christian life to which we are called. is a life in Christ redeemed from sin by him and through him consecrated to God upon this life we are entered having been admitted into the new covenant of which our lord jesus christ is mediator and which he sealed with his own blood that it might stand forever On God's part the covenant is his reconciling of the world to himself in Jesus Christ and his promise that he will fulfill in and through us all that he has he declared in him who is the author and perfecter of our faith that his promise stands we are sure 
for we have known his goodness and proved his grace in our lives day by day. On our part, we have received this covenant through faith and stand pledged to live no more ourselves, but unto him who loved us and gave himself for us and has called us to serve him to the praise of his glory. From time to time, we renew our vows to, of consent consecration, especially when we gather at the table of the Lord. And on this day, we meet expressly that we may joyfully and solemnly renew the covenant which binds us to God. Let us then, remembering the mercies of God and the hope of His calling, lift up our hearts to Him in adoration. Kindly be seated. Let us all sit in an attitude of prayer, remembering God's mighty grace and His mercies in our life journey. Let's all turn to page number 429. Let us adore the Father, the God of love, who created us who every moment preserves and sustains us, who has loved us with an everlasting love and given us the light of the knowledge of his glory in the face of Jesus Christ. We adore thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. Let us glory in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who though he was rich, yet for our sakes became poor, who was tempted in all points like as we are, yet without sin, who went about doing good and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, who became obedient unto death, even the death on the cross, who was dead and is alive for everywhere, ever, evermore, who has opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers, who sitteth at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father, who shall come again as judge and king. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Let us rejoice in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, by whom we are born into the family of God and made members of the body of Christ, whose witness conforms us, whose wisdom teaches us, whose power enables us, who is ready to do for us exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. All praise to the Holy Spirit. Let us give thanks to God for His manifold mercies. O God, our Father, the fountain of all goodness, who has been gracious to us, not only in the year that is past, but through all the years of our life. We give thee thanks for thy loving kindness, which has filled our days and brought us to this time and place. We praise thy holy name, O Lord. Thou hast redeemed us and called us with a high calling in Jesus Christ. Thou hast given us a place in the fellowship of thy spirit and the witness of thy church. We praise thy holy name, O Lord. In darkness thou hast been all light. 
in adversity and temptation a rock of strength in our joys the very crown of joy in our labors the all sufficient reward for all thy long suffering and abundance of thy grace we praise thy holy name o lord let's all examine ourselves asking god to search our hearts our lives let us humbly confess our sins to god lest by self deceit we shut ourselves out from his presence let us pray o god our father who hast set forth the way of life for us in thy beloved son we confess with shame our slowness to learn of him or failure to follow him or reluctant reluctance to bear the cross have mercy upon us and forgive us o lord forgive us we beseech thee the poverty of our worship or neglect of fellowship and of the means of grace our hesitating witness for christ our evasion of our responsibility in thy service our imperfect stewardship of thy gifts have mercy upon us and forgive us o lord forgive us that so little of thy love has reached others through us that we have been thoughtless in our judgment hasty in condemnation grudging in forgiveness slow to seek reconciliation unwilling to help our neighbor as we ought have mercy upon us, us and forgive us, us o lord. lord have mercy, mercy on us all let's say it together according, according to thy according to thy abundant mercies Lord, Lord of oh, my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and, and cleanse me from my sin. sin. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and put in your new and right spirit within me. This is the message we have heard <coughs> from Him and proclaimed to you that God is light. and in him is no darkness at all if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of jesus his son cleanses us from all sin if we say we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us if we confess our sins he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness amen, amen. thanks, thanks be, to, be god. to god the lord be with you and with thy spirit let us pray o god who hast appointed our lord jesus christ as mediator of a new covenant grant us grace we beseech thee to draw near with fullness of faith and join ourselves in a perpetual covenant to thee through the same jesus christ our lord amen kindly be seated now let us listen to the scripture portion the old testament lesson will be read to us The Old Testament lesson is taken from 
Genesis chapter 9, verses 8 to 17. Genesis chapter 9, verses 8 to 17. God said to Noah and his sons, I am now making my covenant with you and with your descendants, and with all living beings, all birds and all animals, everything that came out of the boat with you. With these words I make my covenant with you. I promise that never again will all living beings be destroyed by a flood. Never again will a flood destroy the earth. As a sign of this everlasting covenant, which I am making with you and with all living beings, I am putting my bow in the clouds. It will be the sign of my covenant with the world. Whenever I cover the sky with clouds and the rainbow appears, I will remember my promise to you and to all the animals that a flood will never again destroy all living beings. When the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between me and all living beings on earth. That is the sign of the promise which I am making to all living beings. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I request the congregation to kindly stand for the responsive reading. The responsive reading will be read to us. The responsive reading is taken from the book of Psalms 145 to 1221. The book of Psalms 145, 1 to 21. I will proclaim your greatness, my God and King. I will thank you forever and ever. Thank you. I will praise you forever and ever. The Lord is great and must be highly praised. His greatness is beyond understanding. What, what you have done, done will be praised from one, from one generation, generation to the, to the next. next. They will, they will proclaim, proclaim your, your mighty, mighty acts. acts. Men will speak of your glory and majesty, and I will meditate on your wonderful deeds. Men will speak of your mighty acts, and I will proclaim your greatness. They will tell you about all your goodness and sing about your kindness. The Lord is loving and merciful, slow to be angry, and full of constant love. He is good to everyone and has compassion on all he made. All your creatures, Lord, will praise you, and your people will give you thanks. They will speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your might. So, so that, that all men will, will know your mighty, mighty acts deeds. and the glorious, and the glorious majesty, majesty of, your of your kingdom. Your kingdom is eternal and you are king forever. The Lord is faithful to his promises and good in all he does. He helps, he helps all who are in trouble. trouble. He raises he all those who are humbled. humbled. All living things look hopefully to him, and he gives them food when they need it. He, he gives them enough the, and, and satisfies satisfy the, the needs of, of all. The Lord is righteous in all he does, merciful on all his acts. He is near to all who call to him, who call to him with sincerity. He supplies the needs of all who fear him. He hears the cry and saves them. He protects all who love him, but he will destroy all the wicked. Let's read together. I will always praise the Lord. Let all creatures praise his holy name forever. Kindly be seated. Now the epistle lesson will be read to us. Reading this morning is taken from the letter of Paul, the Apostle to the Galatians, chapter 4, verses 21 to 31. Galatians, chapter 4, 
beginning to read at verse 21. The example of Hagar and Sarah. Let me ask those of you who want to be subject to the law, do you not hear what the law says? It says that Abraham had two sons, one by a slave woman, the other by a free woman. His son by the slave woman was born in the usual way, but his son by the free woman was born as a result of God's promise. These things can be understood as a figure. The two women represent two covenants. The one whose children are born in slavery is Hagar, and she represents the covenant made at Mount Sinai. Hagar, who stands for Mount Sinai in Arabia, is a figure of the present city of Jerusalem, in slavery with all its people. But the heavenly Jerusalem is free, and she is our mother. For the scripture says, Be happy, you childless woman. Shout and cry with joy, you, you who never felt the pains of childbirth. For the woman who was deserted will have more children than the woman whose husband never left her. Now you, my brothers, are God's children as a result of his promise, just as Isaac was. At that time, the son who was born in the usual way persecuted the one who was born because of God's spirit, and it is the same now. But what does the scripture say? It says, Send the slave woman and her son away, for the son of the slave woman will not have a part of the father's property along with the son of the free woman. So then, my brothers, we are not the children of a slave woman, but of a free woman. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I request the congregation to kindly stand for the gospel reading. The Holy Gospel, the gospel lesson is taken from the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 2, verses from 15 to 21. The gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 2, beginning to read at verse 15. When the angels went away from them back into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see these things that has happened, which the Lord has told us. Say they, so they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and saw the baby lying in the manger. When the shepherds saw him, they told them what the angel had said about the child. All who heard it were amazed at what uh, the shepherd said. Mary remembered all these things and though thought deeply about them. The shepherds went back singing praises to God for all they had heard and seen. It had been just as the angel had told them. A week later, when the time came for the baby to be circumcised, he was named Jesus, the name which the angel had given him before he had been conceived. Here ends the Gospel portion. Kindly be seated. Today is a new year. We are really thankful to God Almighty for the wonderful new year 2023 God has gifted us. As we all have entered into new year, Let's also remember God's continuous and His mighty protection whole through the past year, 2022. We are really thankful and uh, we praise God for God uh, has assured His gracious presence, His continuous presence in our life journey. 
to be with us as a pillar of cloud during the daytime and as a pillar of fire in the night. And uh, the New Year service being the covenant worship service, we have wonderful theme, God's continuing covenant with all. God's continuing covenant with all. Let us pray. O God, who has appointed our Lord Jesus Christ as mediator of a new covenant, grant us grace we ask to draw near with fullness of faith and join ourselves in a perpetual covenant to you. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Dearly beloved, we have a, a special speaker. In our midst, sent by God Almighty, none other than our Deputy Moderator, Church of South India, Right Reverend Dr. Ruben Mark, Bishop Tandigaru, on behalf of the whole congregation and the worshippers and the pastorate committee members and officers and the clergy of the pastorate, we very humbly invite you and we thank you for your presence with us to share the mighty word of God. Kindly convey our, we all wish you a happy Christmas here. Convey our wishes to Bishop Taligaru. Though it was 11th hour invitation, thank you for accepting to share the word of God. Thank you very much. Reverend Dr. Ruben Mark Bishop Tandrigaru is the Deputy Moderator of Church of South India and is also Bishop in Karimnagar Diocese. And uh, I feel it a great privilege to be with him most of the time, fellowship, because I was, uh, we, we were all contemporary. I was doing my theology basics and uh, he was in doctoral studies, my senior most. Thank you once again, Naya, for accepting our invitation. Let's all prepare ourselves to listen to the precious word of God by singing hymn number 238. 238. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come.
Let's pray. The words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable unto thee, O Lord, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Wish you all a happy, blessed, cheerful, and meaningful year 2023 thank you i deem it as a great privilege to worship with you all this morning in this most historical traditional church which many people take this church than in the cap of their spiritual life journey, either being a member of this church or getting married in the church or whatnot. But today I take this as a joy of worshiping with you all and bringing God's word. I thank the Lord for this. And I also like to say a thanks to the moderator commissary, Bishop Padmarao, and the Bishop of Donegal Diocese too, for giving me the joy of being here this morning. I'd be very ungrateful if I do not thank the resident pastor, chairman, presbyter in charge, Reverend Hugh Daniel, who happened to be always, I address him as Danny Boy, you know, because of the love and affection that we have. Thank you, Pastor Danny, for inviting me this morning. In this church, I have my first cousin and her husband, my brother-in-law, whom we all very well know who tried a lot, but many times because of being a brother to my sister and a brother-in-law to my brother-in-law. I never said yes. But this time, as it was from the bishop and from the pastor, I could not escape. Dear brothers and sisters, at the beginning of this Day of this year, the moment you got up this morning when you see this, many, no wonder there would be many, many different things that might have cropped up into your mind. Many things might have really disturbed you. Many things might have upset you. Many things might have brought a lot of questions in you. No wonder it was the same when Noah, his three sons, Noah's wife, and the family members, after 40 days and 40 nights rain, when it came to a day where they had to open the doors, you know, of the big ark, when they opened it, they saw a totally a different world itself. When they opened the doors of the ark, they found so many changes. The changes that have really shocked them because what they expected, they were not there. What they thought they would see that was not there. Whom they thought that they would meet, 
they were not there everything was different so also as it was noah his wife and his children and the families thousands of years back it was they and today it might be you as you entered this new year having seen so many things you know which you have never dreamt which you thought it would be something different in that kind of situation the noah's entire family was really in a shock in that kind of situation there comes a voice because noah and his whole family were really frightened we would be the next for the destruction nobody left out if god had to do a second time the same way it would be none other than we our family and we would be with the victims things might have been going on in their mind so also as being in 365 days of 2022 having gone so many things and having opened the doors of 2023 recollecting all those things the bitter things the painful agony things that have really made you to journey all to the past here you might be thinking it hey, this year i would be there you might be going through a little disturb but there came a voice to noah there comes a voice to his children and the voice is not from somewhere but voice from god dear brothers and sisters are you like this morning standing before the ark as the noah's family stood before the doors of the ark and really standing there with the many many doubts fears and with a disturbed mind god never left them god did not save them during those 40 days and 40 nights when it was raining the reason why god kept them in the ark to rescue them to give them a new life god kept them preserved them to give them a life that is that they never expected not dreamed so also the good lord kept you as he kept noah and his family in that ark god kept you 365 days safe and brought you into this another lovely year to give you a different experience an experience that you never never thought of a kind of life that you never imagined in your life think about how wonderful life that noah and his children and his family had the first thing when they were with a big question in the life when they open the doors of ark there comes a lovely voice of god cheer up this beginning of this year as you just entered in by opening the doors of the 365 you know days having completed and walking into another new year the good lord is not only god of noah he is a god of you he also is going to make a you know 
a covenant with you. He's going to make you a voice that's going to cheer you up to lead a wonderful life. He's going to bring you words that makes you to move ahead that in this new year with a great assurance, confidence, hope, and courage. Because God's voice is always a voice that brings courage in your life, brings hope in your life. It brings a kind of assurance. Yeah, this year, the very beginning of this year, I have heard the voice and I'm going to lead this year with an assurance. No more fear. No more timidness. Dear friends, it was not just words. It was not just ordinary words of God. It was not something words that you and I, friends, sit together and talk. The words that God spoke to Noah and his family was, it was a covenant that he made. It was a covenant that he made. A different covenant that from the people they made. Of course, covenants are made at different levels by different people. Husband and wife make a covenant. When you enter into an, a business deal, you enter into a covenant. When you enter into a kind of buying a property, you enter into a covenant. People enter into covenants in different levels, in different stages, in different things. But this covenant is something different than all the other covenants that you might have come across in your life. This particular covenant that God entered with Noah is a very unique covenant. That covenant, it is not just remaining there, but it is still continuing in your life in this year that you entered. Imagine the covenant that you made when you got married. It remains with you both itself. It ends with you both. But this covenant which God made with Noah, it doesn't end just with Noah, nor his three sons, nor his three sons' families. But God's covenant is something it continues First thing is, it continues. God's covenant doesn't have an end. God's covenant doesn't have a date of expiry. God's covenant cannot be, you know, tarnished. Today, we see many times we hear that people want to make a lot of changes in the Indian constitution that has been coming down from so many years and years. Which great people have written and now we over here you know that they like to change those things. But God's covenant with Noah is not something that when you like you want it, when you don't like it, you, can just, you cannot just change it. It's a covenant that is everlasting where no one can ever change it. Because this covenant is something that is going to be a blessing or a blessing down the years and the years ahead. Dear friends, this morning, if you really look at the 
covenant that God gave to Noah was it was not just for Noah it was for the whole creation it was for the whole creation in that whole creation you are today there in that covenant he did not just say no all this is for you and for your three sons and the families never god said that god made a covenant in such a way that it would be a continuous one it would be an everlasting one which is an inclusive covenant it is not something an exclusive covenant but it is an inclusive covenant in which that you and your family is also included that's the greatness of god's covenant that he gave to noah and in this covenant it is a covenant that brings blessing to humanity and to the whole creation this covenant was not something only for noah and his family but it was a covenant with embedded loaded with blessings to the entire creation it shows that god's commitment this covenant that god gave to noah it depicts the god's commitment to the entire creation be assured through that covenant god has a commitment towards you he is not only he has a commitment to noah and his family but this covenant that he made with noah is also god has a commitment to you and to your family what a wonderful god is and through that covenant he not only says no i will not destroy any more you will never see any more this kind of destruction that you have heard seen experience it no more so also dear brothers and sisters we do not know what kind of uh, destruction that you have experienced in 2022 or the previous years during covid 19 but the good lord says jesus has shows us shows you he cheers you up you will no more see that you will no more see that destruction but you will only see my love you will only see my love that covenant that he made with noah was very much evident that noah you will not see any more destruction this way but you will only see my love i believe dear friends this great promise the covenant that god made with noah was not conditional it was an unconditional covenant god never said to noah noah if you do this way i would make this covenant with you no god never made any conditions to make this covenant a covenant that was never ever made on this earth till then the covenant that god made with noah you can see that you know no such great co- covenant was made with anyone on this earth nor god made with anybody such a wonderful co- covenant that god made with noah it was an unconditional one this new year that you entered into the good lord is going to make a promise with you which is going to be an unconditional one i know 
There are many churches that practice. I don't know whether this church practices giving the promises. When you take that promise, believe. Thank God. Say hallelujah to the Lord for giving you such a promise with no conditions. When you take the promise card, you never hear a voice. Hey, unless you do this, this promise would come into reality. No. You take it. Believe it. Make yourself affirm. My Lord is going to fulfill this promise in my life. This promise, my Lord, out of his grace, love, compassion, kindness, is giving me this lovely promise. Take it and have faith that I'm going to realize this promise in 2023. Because the one, the one who makes promises is the one who keeps up his promises, friends. Friends, remember, the Lord who makes promises is the Lord who keeps his promises. May the good Lord who makes a promise with you when you take that card, I wish and pray that you all should experience in this 2023 that he is a promise keeping God. God bless you all. Remembering God's message, let's all stand in a form of faith. We believe in one God, Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten not me.
who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and an apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. Kindly be seated. Now let us listen to the announcements. Greetings and a warm welcome to each one of you. In the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, even Jesus Christ, on behalf of our Presbyter in charge, Reverend Dr. Hugh Daniel, the clergy and the pastorate committee, I extend New Year greetings to all the families. May each one of you have a Christ-centered New Year 2023. We thank Right Reverend Dr. Ruben Mark, our Deputy Moderator, for his inspiring message for the new year. I now request our pastor, Reverend Dr. Yu Daniel, and uh, Pastor Ma, Mrs. Rosie Chrysolite, to come forward so that we'll have a small felicitation for our deputy moderator who is visiting us today. Next Sunday, Holy Eucharist services will be held at 8.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. Sunday school will commence from next Sunday, 8th January 2023, and will be held in the premises of St. John's School. Please note that there will be no evening service today. Offerings and other amounts received during the week, Christmas Eve offerings, 1,60,239, Christmas Eve special offerings, 43,200. Christmas offerings, 60,189. Christmas special offerings, 20,100. Marriage fee, 10,000. Memorial service offering, 4,000. Marriage offerings, 5,000. Tithes and special offerings amounting to rupees 88,200 details of which have been placed on the notice board from Melissa, Kirtana Lydia, Grace Nitala Sagar, P. Lucy Monica, P. M. V. Christoveni, K. Bula Jemima, and G. Leonard, Rahul Philip, K. Cheryl Dion, Rajesh Challa and family, N. J. Krupanandam and family, Yashodra and B.S. Desappa, 
M. David Clement, Venu Gopal, P. F. Augustine, Y. Baskar Rao and family, Y. Richard Wamshi and family, J. T. A. Charles, Kuruvilla George, Molly Shoba and F. C. Ezra, Madhukar David, K. Karnakar Rao, S. J. Christopher and Vijaya Rebecca, Mohit Chandra and Spruha, Dorothy Sunil, Neeta Martin, K. Nirmala Prabhakar, Ruben George, Colonel S. D. Chandrasekhar and family, and three other families. The total amount received is rupees 3 lakhs 2,728. The total amount received from carol rounds is rupees 2 lakhs 53,351. We thank you for the offerings received and may God continue to bless you and your families as you offer for his glory. Monthly subscriptions, tithes, thank offerings can be paid online to the church accounts. Details are placed on the notice board. Please mention your membership number, name and purpose while remitting the amounts. We thank Dr. M. Uday Kumar and family for sponsoring the dinner for the carolers. Altar flowers in honor and for the glory of God are sponsored by Dr. M. Uday Kumar and family. Fellowship breakfast has been arranged in the annex. Request all the members to please join the fellowship. New year calendars are available at the annex. Families who have not yet received may take a copy today. Almanacs for 2023 are also available. Request all those who want a copy. Please contact Mr. Sumanth. The church rolls as of 31st December have been displayed. Please check your names, etc. If there are any corrections to be made, please inform the presbyter in charge within 10 days. Promise cards are also available. You can take a copy after the pastor has blessed them, after the offering. As soon as the communion is announced, request all the members to please be seated in your places. Ushers will come and help you with the communion and they will usher you to the altar. Thank you and God bless you all. Let's all stand and renew our covenant. Let's all turn to page number 434 in the hymnal book. Page number 434. Page number 434. And now, beloved, let us with all our heart renew our part in the covenant that God has made with his people and take the yoke of Christ upon us. This taking of his yoke means that we are heartily content that he should appoint us our place and work and that he alone should be our reward. Christ has many services to be done. Some are easy, others are difficult. Some bring honor, others bring reproach. Some are suitable to our natural inclinations and temporal interests. Others are contrary to both. In some we may please Christ and please ourselves. In others we cannot please Christ except by denying ourselves. Yet, the power to do all these things is assuredly given us in Christ, who strengtheneth us. Therefore, dearly beloved, let us make the covenant of God our own. Let us engage our heart to the Lord, 
and resolve in his strength never to go back. Being thus prepared, let us now in sincere dependence on his grace and trusting in his promises, yield ourselves anew to him, meekly kneeling upon our knees. O Lord God, Holy Father, who has called us through Christ to be partakers in this gracious covenant, we take upon ourselves with joy the yoke of obedience, the yoke of obedience, and engage ourselves for love of Thee to seek and do Thy perfect will. We are no longer our own, but thine. Let's all say together, I am no longer my own, but thine. Put me to what thou will, rank me with whom thou will. Put me to suffering, let me be employed for thee, or laid aside for thee, exalted for thee, or brought low for thee. Let me be full, let me be empty. Let me have all things. Let me have nothing. I freely and heartily yield all things to thy pleasure and disposal. And how, O glorious and blessed God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thou art mine, and I am thine, so be it. And the covenant which I have made on earth, let it be ratified in heaven. Amen. Let us intercede for the church and the world. Let us pray. Let us pray for the church and for the world. And let us thank God for his goodness. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith. We give thanks and pray for the church throughout the world our own church, our diocese, and bishops, the moderator of the CSI, the Most Reverend Dr. A. Dharmaraj Rasalam, our deputy moderator of CSI, Right Reverend Dr. Ruben Mark, the moderator, commissionary, and bishop of CSI Medak Diocese, Right Reverend Dr. K. Padmara, our precipitors in charge, Reverend Dr. U. Daniel and Reverend E. Sumalata. Strengthen your church to carry forward the work of Christ, that we all who confess your name may unite in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks and pray for the nation of the world. Our nation, all men in their various callings. Give wisdom to all in authority, especially the president, prime minister, cabinet ministers, and chief ministers of all states. Direct this nation and all our nations in the ways of justice and of peace, that men may honor one another and seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
we give thanks and pray for the local community our families and friends give grace to us our families and friends and to all our neighbors in christ that we may serve him in one another and love as he loves us lord in your mercy hear our prayer we pray for the sick and the suffering those who mourn those those without faith we give thanks and pray for all who serve and relieve them comfort and heal all those who suffer in body mind or spirit give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation lord in your mercy hear our prayer we commemorate the departed we command all men to you your unfailing love that in them you will be fulfilled and we rejoice at the faithful witness of your saints in every age praying that we may share with them in your eternal kingdom lord in your mercy accept, accept these prayers for, for the sake, sake of, of your, your son, son our Lord savior Lord. jesus christ amen now dearly beloved let's all stand to share the peace and greet one another happy new year we are the body of christ in the one spirit we were all baptized into one body let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life the peace of the lord be always with you and also with you let us greet one another by saying shalom and a happy new year remembering god's grace and continuous mercy in our life journey let's all express our gratitude in the holy sanctuary let's all glorify god by singing hymn number 458 458 when we walk with the lord in the light of his word while singing this hymn let us thank god almighty with our thanks offering
happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Shall we ask God to bless this covenant cards? God who made covenant with Noah and his family. We have heard, Lord, what a wonderful covenant that you made in which we are all included in it. And that's why even till today, we are being blessed and we are being a blessing, Jesus. Especially for this lovely year 2023. Lord, if you bless these covenant cards, Lord, we who take would be blessed and would be a blessing. Testifying that my Jesus who is not only a Lord who makes promises, but he's my lovely Jesus who fulfills by keeping his promise. May all these children in faith who take this may realize this promise this year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Kindly be seated. We have special thanks offering. Remembering birthday and God's mighty blessings. Anika Rukmini Reddy has offered a special thanks offering. 
Anika Rukmini Reddy, we wish you happy birthday. May God continue to bless you. Reha Melissa Kurvila has offered special thanks offering for all the blessings God has bestowed upon her in the past year and his gracious assurance in the new year. May God continue to bless you and strengthen you. Remembering God's mighty blessings and uh, the birthday, Misa Candita Epsi Epsiba has offered special thanks offering. Candita, we wish you happy birthday. May God bless you and your family. Remembering all the wonderful blessings received uh, all through the year 2022 and his gracious God's gracious assurance in the new year. Mrs. Angelina Clement and family has offered special thanks offering. May God continue to bless you and your family. Let us pray. You are the source of every blessings, almighty God. You are the source of reconciliation. You are the source of joy. You are the source of peace in our lives. Loving Father, you are the creator God. You have gifted us all the years in our life journey. Gracious loving Father, remembering thy continuous grace and mercy in the year past, and also remembering thy assurance in the new year, we once again, Lord, come to thy gracious presence with a humble heart of thanksgiving. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for thy grace and for thy mercy. And thank you, Lord, the way you spoke to us, reminded us the covenantal relationship. Gracious, loving Father, give us wisdom and knowledge and strength. And lead us, Lord, to sustain the covenantal relationship that you made with us. And strengthen all of us, Lord, to be the light of the whole world for thy glory. Lord, accept this thanks offering for thy wonderful ministry. Open thy gates of heaven and bless everyone. Shower thy blessing, showers of blessings to everyone who have come into thy holy sanctuary. And also pray for the people, those who are attending live telecast and in this worship service. And also pray for the people, those who were unable to attend the worship service. Have mercy, have mercy on them. Lord, fill in them with all the blessings of the new year. In the name of Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. 
It is not only right, it is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord, for He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through Him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving Him to be born as man, to die upon the cross and to raise again for us. Through Him you have made us a people for your own position, exalting Him to your right hand on high and sending upon us your holy and life-giving Spirit. Therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying gay. Holy, holy, holy Lord, be seated. Let us continue to be in an attitude of prayer. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. For in the same night that he was betrayed, he took bread and after giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again after supper, he took the cup, he gave you thanks. And gave it to them saying, drink this all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission, for forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, Heavenly Father, with this bread and this cup, we do this in remembrance of Him. We celebrate and proclaim His perfect sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, His resurrection from the dead, His ascension into heaven, and we look for His coming in glory. Accept through him, O great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. With him and in him and through him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share one bread. As 
O Savior, has taught us. So we pray. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as in heaven, give us today our daily bread. Forgive us all sins as we forgive those against us. Do not bring us to the time of trials, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. As we all prepare ourselves to take part in the Holy Communion of the Lord, let's all together say the prayer of humble approach found on page 14. Let us pray. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord who said, Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of Jesus Christ and to drink his blood, that we may no more dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Draw near with faith, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood which he shed for you. Remember that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
Having now by faith received the body and blood of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, let's all stand for thanksgiving prayer, found on page number 17. Let us pray and thank God. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far of you, met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us in this hope that we have grasped, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Peace of God which passes all understanding.
keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 In closing, let's all glorify God by singing hymn number. 406 hymn number 406 lord dismiss us with thy blessings thanks for mercies past received and serve the Lord.
Happy birthday.